we'll start by creating a rooms list. So we'll go to more options, lists, custom list, and we'll call it rooms. Then through a data sheet, we're just going to enter some, some basic information in here. Uh, some typical uh, room names in the buildings, especially chemistry labs. We don't need too many. Three is, three is just fine. So that's going to be our list. Now we're going to go back to our form. And uh, what we'll do in our form, we're going to look at this location field. And this is what we want to change. Um, when I click on the text box properties, notice that the data type is still set to text type. And when I go to location and try to change field properties here, we're still at text type. So we'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll save this form. You can actually um, save it anywhere we like. You can accident form template. And we'll close it. We don't need to publish it since we haven't, we haven't changed anything. And, uh, and now we're going to go to lab accident reports, go to list settings, scroll down to room, or location, and we're going to make it choices. Click OK. Now let's open up the form again. So we'll go to Microsoft Office, Fab Designer, and we'll just open Recent. And you can see that one or more fields in the SharePoint list have changed. Do you want InfoPath to update the set of available fields? Sure. And now notice that the location displays as choices. Okay, so that's good. Now we need to create a data connection to our list. So we're going to do add, create a new connection to receive data. It's going to be to a SharePoint list. And you can see that the site is ABC University Courses, which is correct. And then the list is Rooms. We'll choose the title. And sort by, also sort by title. Click Next. And click Next. Now the final step is to go to the properties here. But you can still see that it's displayed as a text box. So what we'll do is we're going to get rid of it and just do a drop down. So we'll just uh, essentially redid the field. And when we go to drop down list properties, instead of enter choices manually, we can get choices from an external data source for which we already have a connection. For the connection, we're going to choose rooms. And uh, uh, we can do the value, the, you know, the display name should be title. And, if, uh, and for the value, we can certainly keep the ID or we can keep the title. Click OK. Now, just like always, we do a quick publish. We'll go to the list. Do you add new item? And for the location, you can see the locations. Uh, unfortunately, I left the default value in there, so we, we could delete that. But you can see the locations are coming from, from the rooms list. So if I just uh, close this and add a new item, just call it another room. Go to lab accident reports. 
do a lookup, and you can see another room here. Of course, we could easily just do that with a lookup column, but the point here is that external data could be coming not just from a SharePoint list on this particular site, it could come from a list on a different site, or it could come from um, a SQL database as well. 